So, well, hi there. Here's the schematic for the 10 watts shortwave transmitter. I'm just going through the schematic. For those who are going to write down in the comments, Steve, can you please send me the schematic? Nope. You can see it in the video. Go ahead, pause the video and redraw the schematic. So, let's go through the stages quick. On the first side, we have our input filter with two big capacitors and two 100 micro handy coils. This one filters away the RF from the transmitter from the power supply and also filters the power supply voltage a bit. Here we have the power adjustment for the modulator transistor. This one requires a large heatsink. It doesn't get too hot, but with a large heatsink it will just work fine. Here we have the final amp, requires also a heatsink. Here we have the output stage with many 1 nanofarad capacitors. These are overall giving round about 2 nanofarads. And if you add a 2 nanofarad single capacitor here, one of these small types, it will simply get destroyed. So these capacitors share the power and they won't get destroyed. They might get warm, but they won't get destroyed. This, this coil, LY and LX, <coughs> excuse me, are wound on a T52 uh, torrid core transformer. Of course, single co uh, torrid core, uh, torrid core for this coil and a single torrid core for this coil, not on the same torrid. And they're wound with 0 0.28 millimeter wire. And um, here we have the driving coil for the output driver and this one is important because if you change the frequency lower you will need a bigger coil and if you change the frequency higher you will need a smaller coil, smaller value. If this coil is not set right, this driver transistor gets pretty hot and you won't get full 10 watts output. Okay, um, I've set up the transmitter already here as you can see and the light bulb is not glowing anymore as in the previous video. That's because I've reduced the power output to one and a half watts. And in the next videos you are going to see a range test of the one and a half watts transmitter power. And the antenna is in the garden and it's set up like this. And so it will radiate pretty much in the atmosphere. But I would need to set it up like this to radiate in the local area. So the local area range is not that good. Although you could see in the first video that it was receivable over a really huge distance with 10 watts power. Okay, that's the 10 watt shortwave transmitter.